Hey there, it's Lemayne. I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about my most recent single called Poison and the story behind it. So the story actually starts with my parents. My parents met when they were in middle school and they've been a couple ever since, like over 40 years, married for 30, still going strong as far as I know. <laughs> and that's exactly what I wanted for myself. And I guess I was a little bit naive in thinking that that's exactly what was going to happen. But spoiler alert, it's not what happened. <laughs> Did not turn out the way I thought it would. And you know, I got my heart broken a couple of times. I just did not get what I was looking for. But then I didn't want to write another song about how sad I was and my heartbreak and oh, just sad, sad, sad. I wanted to write this from a different angle. I wanted to write about exactly the same experience from an empowering angle because there's enough sadness already inside of me or was at that point. I wanted to motivate myself and empower myself. And I hope that's what it does to you too. It's empowering. So how can this be empowering? Well, through trial and error, eventually you will be able to identify immediately if that person in front of you is offering you what you're looking for or not. Whether you are just looking for friendship and the other person is more interested in a romantic relationship or you're looking for something short term and the other person is looking for something long term. Whatever it is, if that other person is not offering you what you want, on what you need, that is poison, right? But if you can identify from the beginning if that person is um, offering you what you're looking for or not, that is empowering. And also, side note, it is super empowering, at least in my experience, when somebody is like offering you something and is interested in you and you're like, oh, I see what you're offering, but thank you, that's not what I'm looking for. Bye, Felicia, right? I think that's super empowering when someone's, someone's interested in you and you're like, mm, no, thank you. <laughs> I think that makes you feel great. So yeah, that's the other angle to that. And that's basically what the verses are about, right? It's about, I see you, but no, you're offering me poison. Not interested. I'm not going to make the same mistake again and drink your poison again. No, I'm going to go move on and find the person who is actually offering me what I want. And that's what the chorus is. The chorus is when you find that right person and it gives you that explosive, amazing feeling that you get when you finally meet the right person. So I hope that when you listen to this song, that you feel those things, that you feel empowered, like you should, because there's no need to wallow in your own sadness, right? Empower yourself, pick yourself up and try again. Eventually it'll work, no matter what it is you're doing. It might not be a relationship, it might be painting. I don't know. <laughs> Right? So pick yourself up, be empowered, and go try it again. So if you haven't heard the song yet, now would be the time to go have a listen. It's out on all streaming platforms, so no excuses. <laughs> um, and if you already have heard the song, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have a bunch of other music out there too. My whole album is out now. Um, again, on all streaming platforms. So go have a listen. Let me know what you think. I can't wait to see what you guys think about all the songs. And um, that is it for today. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.